What we wear is something that ties us to our people and to our ancestors. It has a spirit to it. Our way of life is centered around our language, and it's a language of kinship. But we don't have a word for fashion. We don't have a word for art. Everything was connected. But the beautiful pieces that I learned with art is that you don't have to have words to understand a piece of art. You just feel it. That piece of it has been really interesting trying to figure out what am I reclaiming? I am Lehi Thunder Voice Eagle from Navajo Nation. To my people, I am Zuni Edgewater, born for Totonac. I am a artist and designer. Right now we are on Navajo Nation. This is an area where my family grew up. Growing up, nature was the biggest part of my education. I'd always think about the people that were there before and the connection to the land and the serenity that they felt. If you look at some of the old pictures of the natives in their clothing. All of that had meaning. It was reminders of who they were, their belonging place. It wasn't separate from our way of life. The big thing for me is the idea of appropriation. Seeing other people wear things that we traditionally would have is just a reminder of the things that were taken. One of the biggest questions is where's that line of appropriation? What's appropriate, what's not, what's appreciation? That's been something that has been a big conversation in the Native community. Who gets to benefit off us and who gets to represent us? I talk a lot with my mom in trying to understand who we are and the things that I'm creating. You know how this it works, right? This is used for light here. They would make the holes and the turquoise. For our people, there was no separation between us and what we created. I remember my father gave me a hat band, which has symbolism and represents family and where I'm from. As I wore it as an artist, a lot of people recognized it as part of some of the old ways that natives would dress. And so with our hats, we did the same thing, making sure that there is symbolism in what we create, that there's always meaning. In the recent years, I've had more hope. There needs to be solutions to the problems of appropriation. So how do we build that? We listen very carefully to those that come and how they talk about how they want to work with us. I think now there are more people on the same page. When we started Faraday, we were using Native-inspired brands. And we got to a point where it was like, when we say Native-inspired, if it is not benefiting the Native community at all, it's just exploitation. When I think about our partnership, this is not just about a brand going out and finding a Native person and saying, will you help design something? Unless that brand has done internal work and education on Native erasure and American history, global history, in terms of how Indigenous people have been exploited, the harm can still happen. What the Native communities are asking for is just to be allowed to be themselves. And if they just had a little more room, we would excel. And that's a space that you've provided. It's an ongoing journey. And I feel like I have learned so much from you. The more that we are doing that work to listen and learn and share resources, the better we'll all be. It really is, I think, a mutual learning experience. This collaboration that we've done has been another, another brick in that hope, you know, of, of building that hope. We have consumers who are now asking, where is this made? Who made this? And it gives us a great opportunity to start to reverse the harm of appropriation. It's a better way of looking as a consumer where to invest because your dollar can change what is happening to the world. It really is so that Native brands can be independent. Our roots and where we come from, our culture is everything. It's something that I know for our community, we have fought hard to keep alive understanding how, as humans, we all bring something to the table. I see a lot of what we deal with is like a day-to-day -day survival. But if we don't have to worry so much about the next meal, then we can start talking about 
how we can start changing things from everything that's happened. We can start working on the hurt and the trauma and it won't be passed down to the next generation. Can we sing together? As a father, I want him to feel his worth no matter where he's at. If I could create that, that would be amazing.